and welcome to another video guys I'm back here at the California farm and it is the start of a beautiful day uh, things have greened up a little bit since I've been gone uh, I've been at the Felsbrunn farm and uh, getting back here things have greened up a little bit we see the canola has popped in the distance we got some nice yellow over there and uh, it's not very windy today of course uh, it's a little bit cold still four degrees uh, but we're in early to mid spring uh, according to the seasons uh, mod which I try to follow um, things are supposed to be warming up a little bit soon um, I can actually oh, wait, hold on I like to have my help window on just because there's so many different commands it's hard to keep track of them all oops so here we go just wanted to show you the seasons mod real quick so mid spring right now um, the yeah planting season and this is the weather forecast what's the I think the blue means it's not oh okay right so blue we're not ready to plant any of those yet so the soil temperature is not quite right yet except for grass of course <laughs> grass is fine that's in the white but the blue I believe I'm correct I think blue is meaning don't plant that yet so um, we won't be planting today. Um, still going to wait a little bit for it to warm up. But um, since it is early spring and spring cleaning, I think I'm going to pull out my uh, spreader here, self propelled spreader 4940. And I'm going to head over to my grass field, the hay field, um, because I want to uh, get rid of the rest of the fertilizer that's in here. Uh, oops, wrong equipment. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's not picking up that I want to get in this one. Stand by. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see, I've got a little bit of left in the hopper there, and also in my uh, little orange bar in the bottom right. We've got 36%. So uh, I'm just going to drive over to the grass field. And I don't think I've shown that on video yet. Um, but yeah, I'll just drive over there so I can lose the rest of this. Just going to spread this around. Because um, also looking at my precision map here, precision farming map, um, you see number nine field here, which is my grass uh, or hay field, or just, you know, grass harvesting field. Nitrogen content is pretty uh, depleted. So um, I've got, you know, somewhat of a nice yield in this area, but. Um, to uh, to just get rid of some of the fertilizer here and uh, do it responsibly, <laughs> I'm just going to you know knock out this field and also it'll be interesting to follow the progress uh, as you can see because it's going to create these nice bands of uh, hopefully green. Um, but I'm, and it's been a while since I've uh, driven this and used the uh, application rate. I think it does it automatically, but I'm not sure. As you can see. Uh, in the left side of the screen, in the help menu, there's the nitrogen fertilizer application um, bar. It's red and green, and I need to re-familiarize myself with that. Um, but I think once we're in the field, it'll make more sense. Uh, so I'm just going to pull out of here. And uh, it's been a while since I've driven this. However, I did just purchase one of these uh, for the Felsbrunn farm. And uh, I will be using that uh, much like I do here. I prefer to spread solid, uh, solid, uh, you know, lime and fertilizer as opposed to spraying, um, just because it's, you know, lime. I, I like to spread lime every once in a while. And also, just the uh, the way that I have the fertilizer configured here. I've got the uh, fertilizer plant, which uh, is using manure and, and compost and other things to make the fertilizer. So. Uh, just stick with that instead of the spraying. And I don't, I don't spray for herbicides or, or pesticides. I don't do any of that stuff. Um, so yeah, this is just my choice. So, and I also don't apply when I'm planting. I could be doing that uh, on some of the planters, but I don't ever mess with that. Um, so, but maybe you know, who knows in the future, uh, try new things. Uh, but. Anyway, I'm going to stop and feed the dog because he also likes to 
likes to just run <laughs> right through the equipment. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to make sure he doesn't... Yeah, like, there he is. Such a good boy. Drop some food in there for him. Distract him while I drive out of here. Um, but yeah, it's nice to have a... Um, nice to have a beautiful day. Oops. Come on now. There we go. Um, been, a, been a lot of cloudy days recently, so... Oh, here he comes. Coming back ever again. No! <laughs> just... <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> How do I, okay, there he goes. <laughs> Alright, I don't even want to entertain the idea of uh, injuring a dog, so. There we go, alright, he's staying. Alright. And I'm gonna open up a little bit, and uh. Yeah. So, like I was saying, um, since I've been gone, things have greened up a little bit. Um, which is always nice to see. This map can get a little ugly in the uh, winter, during the winter period. So, um, but I do love to see uh, the canola uh, popping. It's one of my favorite crops um, for many reasons. Uh, one reason is I can use it to make biodiesel, which is what all of my equipment is operating on is canola biodiesel. So it's uh, and it's just a nice looking crop. It's got a lot of benefits. So that's the one I pick. But uh, like I said, I'm going to drive over to the grass field where I have some equipment that's been sitting. Um, I have to move some of that stuff out of the way. Um, but we'll head over there and see what it looks like. But yeah, I just, I'm not going to focus too much on trying to be uh, perfect with um, spreading. I'm just going to, you know, I just gotta get this rid of the what's left over in that hopper here. Um, it'll probably be a little while before I spread again because um, I have to plan. Uh, I would like to plan before I do any more spread. So this thing's gonna also be this full throttle. A little bit of tire noise going on too. Oh, and look, we've got a. Uh, oh, okay. So, uh, some of you might think, you know, this looks like crap over here, but I tend to, I like to uh, let things rewild, I guess is one term for it, but basically, um, I, uh, I end up, or I guess reclaiming is another, another way to put it. Um, I like to reclaim some land and just let it grow wild. Um, one reason is because when I use the GPS system for planting, um, it's just a lot easier to let it decide where to start and end the field, and I just let it, whatever else, just uh, just let it go. Um, and like it made more sense, like one in my previous videos, uh, the uh, GPS system uh, predetermined the route um, for planting, but uh, one edge of the field just it wouldn't have made sense to. I would have been planting over myself again, so. I just let that edge of the field go, um, so I don't have to worry about it in the future. But, uh, if that doesn't make any sense, <laughs> it's okay. I tend to just kind of ramble on uh, when I'm driving, because I'm trying to do two things at once. But anyway, I was saying at the Felsbrunn farm, the roads feel a lot narrower there, and I haven't, I haven't driven the spreader down those roads, but this one, you can see, it's only taking up my lane. But I feel like at the Felsbrunn farm it's going to take up both lanes. I don't. I have to. I have to look because it just feels like the roads are really narrow there. But it could just be me. Uh, so anyway, I've got. Uh, I forget what that one is, but yeah, that's. I do really like that tractor. I just can't remember the, what the numbering it is. Uh, but I'm just going to head up here. I've got some equipment that's been sitting. Uh, the good thing is the grass has been regrowing. Um, since I last harvested in here. Um, but yeah, I'll turn off my flashers. I've got uh, my heavy heavy equipment here. I was, I don't really know about square billing, it's kind of like a low priority. Um, I think I have, I think I've square billed once and sold it. There's just the amount of time to, to do all that, it just didn't really feel worth it. So um, the main reason I was harvesting grass was um, 
for the uh, dry fertilizer plant um, as part of the, uh, well, I've got the composting plant and the fertilizing plant. So um, that's all in that one area over there. I can drive through there later just so uh, it makes more sense. But I don't know if you've been s noticed, but the map on my bottom left, oh, there we go, we're getting more data now. Um, so we're getting more data as I'm driving through the field and uh, we're obviously in a red area on the bottom left side of the map. Um, and so I've got, yeah, I'm just going to just drive around, I'm not really going to use GPS. I don't even, oh yeah, GPS is available, but I'm just going to drive around. And, okay, so I'm just going to re refresh myself with uh, what I'm trying to do here. Oh, okay, there's the change application rate. Okay, okay, whoops, that also does the door. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, so I'm just trying to, okay, I see what it's doing now. So we're currently at 60 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare. And 200 is ideal, I guess. Yeah, 200 is ideal, what it wants us to do. So, I guess, I don't know. Okay, so, okay, so automatic is just going to, what, well, let's see what automatic does. All right, I'm gonna knock down, okay, cruise control. I probably can, I forget what speed I was doing spreading at, but we'll start off at eight. Um, so yeah, within the limits, and okay, I'm just going to take off, turn it on, okay, spreading, and so the automatic rate is on now, and I think it's going to adjust, uh, I'm watching the bar to see if it's going to actually adjust or not, so we're at 120, we're adding 120, oh, okay, yes, look, so it's, it is an auto adjusting, now we're at 140, okay, I'll just leave it on auto then, um, but yeah, I'm not trying to be precise here, I'm just, you know, we've got, uh, well, okay, 35%, so there's quite, a, uh, this might actually cover a lot of the field, uh, I wasn't sure how much we just kind of used up, uh, Okay, we'll just see how much all this goes. But yeah, I'm leaving it on auto, so you can see we're at 140 kilograms now, spreading. No, 160, okay. And I'm just going 8 miles an hour. Uh, I guess I could be going faster, but um, I'm just going to leave it at this speed. This, was, this is what feels comfortable right now. And I'm going to have to move that tractor <laughs> at some point uh, to finish that edge. but. I'm just looking at the map now, just kind of roughing out uh, where I need to go. I should probably, uh, well, I guess I could bring the soil sampler in here just to fill in those little gaps uh, just so I get a more precise view. But this is not a high, uh, this is not a uh, uh, really high maintenance field or it's, uh, it's not something I care that much about. You know, it's just grass. <laughs> um, I'm not, you know, it's more like a side project, but I do like to at least be precise uh, when I can as I drive around randomly. But, okay, wow, so <laughs> this is, wow, um, I thought we were going to eat through the fertilizer a lot faster than that. I wonder if it's going to shut off when I drive over, is it going to shut off when I drive over? Oh, look, it does. That is wild. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> this is the stuff that makes me geek out. It's, uh, if you leave it on auto, it's going to not spread where we've already driven. That is just really cool. That is really cool. It's going to start out, look, it started off again by itself. That's so neat. I personally, I just find that that's awesome. I love that. So, they can't, I mean, it can't be totally precise. Uh, you know, it's just shooting out fertilizer, so. Um, with a sprayer, you know, assembly, you could be a lot more precise, shutting off into it. Yeah, excuse me. 
shutting off individual nozzles, but um, I think it's still pretty cool how it did the uh, shuts it on and off by itself. Um, I ain't really just driving out around randomly, but I really thought uh, this was going to eat up what's left over, but yeah, not really. <laughs> We'll just make our rounds, uh, fill in the gaps now. I didn't realize the edge of the field was right there. Interesting. Oh, okay, you can see it now. Just a little bit, the edge of the field, where it's slightly darker in between the blades of grass. And, okay, there it goes. Take it on again. And I'm going to pause down here and get this tractor out of the way. Okay, cool. So I don't need to use the uh, adjustment here. Okay, see, oh, this is interesting. We're getting, well, that's where we just spread. The pH value is bad. Okay. That's our pH up here. Maybe I'll have to come back, oops. I'll have to come back and spread lime. Maybe. What is our... Uh, okay. Eh, it's not too bad, you know. I'm looking at the yellow areas right now, and I'm going to have to spread lime in those eventually. But, yeah, I think eventually I have to, I'm going to have to come out back out here and, and use the soil probe again and just fill in the little gaps because it is kind of annoying to, <laughs> to have no data in some areas. Oh, that's right. Sick. Yeah, I remember what this is. Oops. This is, yeah, I really like this tractor. <laughs> one of my favorites for doing grass operations anyway. Uh, I've driven one of these in real life too, so uh, this is why I, I'm, a, I, uh, I'm a big fan of this. Uh, fold. Yeah. yeah, that thing's dirty been sitting for a little bit too. And do we have to raise it up? I guess it's just oh, there is no secondary action. I guess it just rides like that. Hmm. Oh, I guess it just rides in those wheels. So it's been a while since I've used this stuff. I'm just going to park it. I'll drive up here. Park it out of the way. Might as well just leave it with the other equipment. Sweet. And running back over here. And uh, maybe I'll put a shed out here or something so the stuff isn't sitting on the elements, but I mean this is my this is the only area where I'm harvesting grass. Uh, okay. I just need to start driving. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that automatic uh, spray rate is pretty sweet. Uh, so yes, yeah, nice that we have this field fertilized. Unfortunate that <laughs> I'm gonna have a bunch left over, but not that big of a deal. I mean, uh, I didn't realize how I thought it was definitely gonna use more, but that's okay. This is just have to sit a little longer with. Uh, fertilizer in it. Oh, I'm ready to spread more in other fields. Oh, 
probably be it, I think. But like I said, I've got these brown gaps. That's where I haven't ran run the uh, soil probe. So I'll have to come back here. Okay, I've got one the edge over there. 26. We, so we started at 39 percent. Now we're at 26 percent. So I think it was like 7,000. Forget what that. I don't can't remember what that value means. 5,000. Whatever that means. Whoops. This side. <laughs> I'm steering while looking at the map, trying to figure out which way I need to go. Okay. Oh, look at even... I'm just looking at the info bar of this beer now. But it was taking the uh, soil type into consideration, so it's sandy loam, I think is what this is. I'm just going to stop here and shut it off. Uh, cool. Okay, cool. This is now fertilized. Yeah. Green looks better than red. Um, yeah, I've got this big number 12 section here. I could I could lose, lose some. Um, but that is where the canola is up, I think. But I'm going to drive back through there. And there are areas where I can lose some more, but uh, it's I thought I was going to be able to empty out the spread of it. Probably not. I wonder if I can turn that beacon on. Probably a keyboard command. Anyway. Okay, well that's done. Um, so the, yeah, there's a. That's what uh, GPS, or not GPS, but auto uh, auto spraying looks like. I think that's part of them. I think that's a mod, or maybe that's original. But this this piece of equipment is a mod. So if you haven't seen this thing before, or, uh, you haven't seen the spray rate before uh, this is what it looks like so precision farming mod uh, it's one of my favorites yeah we'll head uh, like I was mentioning before the biodiesel plant and the fertilizer plant I'll drive through those and whoo in the hill there I'll drive through those and you can see what that looks like uh, my government subsidized uh, <laughs> operation uh, get our blinkers back on for the road okay well that's a check off the box is uh, one fertilized field That was another reason I wanted to empty this hopper was so I can make it available for lime spreading, but um, oops. Uh, I do have a, a tow behind spreader for lime, um, but that's, uh, that's probably what I end up doing is throwing a tow behind. I thought I was in. <laughs> I think I was used getting used to kilometers per hour and now I'm miles per hour. Luckily, this isn't a high traffic road. And let's drive off here. <laughs> There's my little tuck tuck. <laughs> it's got that, yeah, that spark over there, and that's right. Um, and this is just uh, this is some random field. I uh, haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet, but as you can see, it's a mixture of canola and oilseed radish, which I was just planting there as cover crop. Um, yeah, I planted all these um, all these evergreens as uh, wind, wind breaking, wind protection. I've also dug the trench uh, for runoff. And uh, that's just one of the things I've done. So this is the biodiesel plant here. And uh, like I said, it uh, takes input of canola and transforms into uh, biodiesel. So I think that's where the canola is dumped actually. And it's been a while since I've on that too. Actually, what is the... So 
to check. I wonder if it'll tell me how much I have in here. I think I've been, I think I'm good to go for a while. 13, I'm <laughs> not sure what that means. All right, here we go. So I've got, oh, okay, 13,000 liters, which is, <laughs> yeah, so it's got a massive capacity. Okay, and the canola, well, the canola should be empty because it's finished processing. If the canola was there, then it would be in the, be processing it, so. I haven't added any canola for a while, so. 11% uh, doesn't sound like much, but I think, you know, the, the equipment will barely use that. Liters. I've got to. <laughs> I've got to think. Liters. Uh, does this tell me? Uh, five. So this holds 587 liters. So yeah. Multiply that by how many pieces of equipment I have, and yeah, it's good. I'm good for a while. Um, this is the fertilizer plant. So this takes an input of compost and or processed compost, things like that. And there is the spout for filling it up with what I have in here is the process fertilizer, which looks like a white powder. So that's, uh, that's what this is here. And uh, this is the composting plant, which, is, which has been acting weird for a while. I have to, I have to work on that one, but um, there's something not quite right about it. But uh, I do have fertilizer for now. Um, okay, there's my toe behind lime spreader in the shed, and I might be pulling that out soon uh, for some of the fields that are looking a little, like they need a little assistance. Yeah, I'm going to check on, so I know there's this section of the field over here is looking pretty bad. It needs a little nitrogen, so we can give that a little help before we park this thing. And it's going to be standing canola, I'm sure. Probably right here, right? Let's check on that. Yeah, so this is the stretch, which this is just cover crop. I don't mind driving through this, but. Uh, I try not to drive through the crops when I can, but uh, for the sake of uh, getting rid of some fertilizer here. And, oh, okay, it might actually. Yeah. Alright, and get our. So we're on automatic fertilizer now. I'm going to drop my cruise control here. There we go. I wonder why it's, oh, it's dropped it down. That's okay. So it's gonna drive through here real quick. Maybe do another pass coming back. But 200 is ideal, of course, according to the mod anyway. Oh, okay, there's the application rate. I was missing that earlier. Oh, okay, so the application rate is 592 right now. Wow. And okay. Oh, this is eating it up. It's eating up quite a bit. 24% now on the amount of fertilizer left. So, I like seeing that uh, red change to green. <laughs> Yeah, no wind today. That wind turbine is always spinning. <laughs> okay. What is this? Oh, okay, I see. I'll just finish off here. <laughs> why do I have this? I wonder why there's that little square of radish. That's interesting. And shut that off. Perfect. I love all the colors. <laughs> Blue, the green, the yellow. Okay, oh, that's right, my door. Shut that. Uh, yeah, alright, we'll call that done for now. 
So knocked it down from 39%, now I'm at 22%, so getting there with uh, finishing off this load of fertilizer, but um, yeah, let me just double check again. Yeah, I mean, there's no really, I don't really have anywhere else I could, uh, besides the edges, but I'm not going to mess with that. So that's good. Uh, just an overview of what it's like to spread fertilizer from one of these pieces of equipment with the mods and everything activated. Precision farming mod, so. Um, next, uh, in another video, I'll probably be figuring out what I'm going to be planting. Um, and I'll be planting into cover crops, uh, the oil seed radish, of course. And, yeah. Getting this farm back on track, uh, well not back on track, but it's, you know, end of winter, so finally, and beginning of spring. Look, here he comes, he just messed <laughs> up. He just loves to walk in the way. He's just seeking attention, I'm sure. <laughs> He's just going to sit right in the middle. There he is. I'm going to park this, always try to park this thing under shelter just in that event that it, we ever get rain or anything. Definitely don't want rain uh, hitting this hopper wall. Of course this, does this thing have a cover? This might have a cover, maybe. I'm not seeing an option for one. Yeah, I, just, I like to park it under the roof just in case. Pull in here, and I've got to get uh, these uh, these pieces of equipment will be dispersed soon enough out to, to do various tasks. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it for this video. And yeah, looking forward to getting back in the swing of things and lots more planting work to do. So, thanks for watching.